I can't say enough good things about the students that attend Harvey Milk High School. My name is Isaac Nasir Serena. I am 16 years old. I go to Harvey Milk. I am a junior and my pronouns are he, him. They are beautiful. They are mature. They are thoughtful. They are compassionate. My name is Ty, Ty Thomas, um, and I use she, her pronouns. Hi, my name is Morgan Jenkins and I use she, her pronouns. And I truly believe it's because of so much that they've had to experience and the complexities that they've had to process about their own lives, about their coming out stories, about being possibly rejected by the people that they love the most. My name is Gyanush Bowie and my pronouns are he, him. My name is, my name is Vicky Alandado and my preferred gender pronoun is she, her. And so then they come here and they offer all of that love and all of that insight to each other and to the teachers. They're wonderful to us. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, which is the, happened in New York City in 1969. It's the 50th anniversary, so it was for gay liberation and freedom for everybody, not just lesbian, gay students, but everybody. And so what I wanted to do was uh, show an outgrowth of that uh, liberation movement and look at Harvey Milk School, which is an alternative school that uh, gives freedom to these students. We are so excited that the Board of Regents are coming to see our school. It's such an honor for us um, to have the Board of Regents care about the work that we're doing and to see firsthand what it feels like and what it means to students um, to be a part of Harvey Milk High School. What's most powerful for me and where the work is grounded and what really stands out is that we, we're continuing our mission and legacy at the Sanctuary School and not just for LGBT students. I mean, we're serving um, some of the most vulnerable um, and fragile students and you know I was one of them. First class that we're going to go into is participation in government and what we'll see in participation in government is one of our SEL components um, which really has to do with um, improv. Hi, I'm Joseph Rodriguez and I'm the uh, producing artistic director of Playhouse Creatures Theatre Company and we've initiated this pilot theatre drama program here. So how this works is we have a teaching artist come in and he reviews improvisational skills and um, through the improv the kids are able to think about different ways to respond to life's challenges, to life's obstacles. I feel like acting is a way for us to explore different sides of ourselves, different situations, so that not only we get to see our perspective on certain life situations but see the other person's side. I'm gay and I want to go to the prom with my boyfriend. If you feel skeptical about it at first, you can meet him, like we can plan something like after school for you to meet him, but I like him a lot. We've been dating for a while and I really want to bring him to prom and I hope you're able to accept that and also accept me. In art, unlike life, listening is imperative because only through listening can you come to understand other people. So often in life, we don't listen. Mm -hmm. and, and theater is better than life because we have the opportunity to listen, and through listening, we understand. And when you understand someone else, it's much harder to, to hate them, to push them away. So the second class that we're going into is a PE class in which we have one of our partners, CUNY Arts. So this is an opportunity for students to engage in drama as a way of really broaching some very sensitive, difficult, important issues. One, two, three. Action. No matter who they choose to be, that's still your kid. And if you love, and if you love her, you have to let her be who she wants to be. It's not embarrassing that she's coming with heels. That's what she chooses to be. You have to accept her. Even if it's just really hard for me, like I understand everything you're saying and I want, to, I love Alicia, I love her, but it's just very difficult for me. I 
birthed a son and now I have to just accept that she's my daughter now, it's, it's gonna take time. And I don't think anyone understands that it's gonna be very difficult for me to accept this. Okay, but just think about how hard it is for her that her mom can't accept the fact that she wants to be a different gender. Harvey Milk does give these students the freedom of expression and the right to exist in the larger society. It's not only lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, but it's all students and it gives them a take on society that allows them to intermingle with society and have a real life with freedom and expression and all kinds of things that not everybody feels entitled to. We're constantly having um, this conversation, you know. Um, I've had it in like a few of my other classes and also like this one um, and so I think that yeah this is a place that we can have those conversations about like race and like privilege. A lot of us are creators, a lot of us are performers, a lot of us are artists, a lot of us express ourselves because that's part of our culture mm -hmm. to sing and express and make art because maybe that's some of the only ways we know how to get out and let out the way we feel. What happened in Harvey Milk was that the, the environment, the students, the teachers, the incredible principal, Ms. Perini, um, they all created this environment for me that it was a safe space. I feel like in other places I was scared to be myself and I was scared to speak my mind, speak my opinion, but here it's like it's such a sense of community and how we all get to be who we are and that, that we're all accepting of it, that here I can genuinely be myself and genuinely like express myself the way that I feel fit. I was able to finally go to a school system where I feel accepted and free to be who I am and free to find friends who are like me and that have my back. One student said, different is normal here. And I waited my whole life for that. It's, it's been an incredible journey for me because I, since 2017, I can say that I have become a confident person. I am, I know who I am. I can't tell you the level of pride and joy that it brings me and I, I think it's fair to say every single community member here when students walk out with their head high and they have a sense of pride. Their courage inspires me. Um, I feel like my existence right now is like revolutionary and is changing the world as we speak um, because things like this are happening, right? Like conversations are being started. They move and they push and they grow and that's what helps us grow and that's what helps us help them grow. And the thing with these kids is that through their actions, they remind me to be myself. They encourage me to be myself. And I think that as adults, we get caught up in the idea of, I'm the adult in the room and so you learn from me. And it would be a grave in injustice to what they know and what they bring if that's how I walk through life. Because it's not the truth.